the guest bedroom is ready for the first guest. Oh, I'm gonna watch this back and be sad. You look like the lights! <laughs> How did everything get so expensive? <laughs> it's progress. How are you? Welcome back to the vlog. It's mom's weekend. I'm so excited. My mom and Jordy's mom are flying in at the same time and they are spending this weekend here together, which I think is gonna be so much fun. Jordy is only here for a half a day. He flies in Sunday afternoon and flies out Monday morning at like 5 a.m. and then is gone for two weeks. So he's not gonna get to overlap with them a ton. So it's pretty much a girl's weekend which is also really fun. I know that they really wanna be helpful in any way they can be, so I've been saving some of the more fun activities to do with them, like maybe go to the nursery. Marjorie, who is Jordy's mom, knows a lot about plants, so I wanted to pick out some larger plants for inside the house, maybe go to the outlet malls, and of course have fun, go to the beach. Marjorie wants to see the flower field at the pumpkin patch that I just recently took y'all to on the girls' night I went on. So we're gonna for sure do that. Mom wants to try the ginger matcha latte that I tried with y'all recently. They've been seeing these things in vlogs and they want to do them. So we will be doing all of the things on their wish list. Oh, and I finished the gift bags. Also, I, I just bought this new mic and I think it's doing the same rattling thing again and it makes me so sad because now I spent $400 on mics and they're all doing the rattling thing. So if it does it in this video too, I'm gonna go just buy a whole new brand of mic and I'm sorry, so we'll see what happens. But I finished the gift bags for them. I have one for each of them. They're slightly different. Like I picked them out different versions of the same things, but I'll show you. I'll just unpack one and repack it later what I did. So I wrote them each a card and got them each a sticker. This is my mom's. So she has, we put a Nespresso machine in her guest house. So I got her pods for her Nespresso machine. I got them each a matching beach hat. <laughs> this is just from Amazon, but isn't it cute? I got them each a different little scarf. They have different patterns, but I got them each a Southern California homesick candle. I'm bummed because when Jordy first moved here, I got him the San Diego one, which is now pretty much gone. And it smells so good, but they didn't have the miniature San Diego one. So I just got the Southern California and I ordered it online and I hate the way it smells. Like it smells pretty bad. I got them each a beach blanket towel for us to take to the beach, sit in the sand. And then I got them each a body wash for their respective showers because I don't know what the body wash situation is in either of them, to be honest. So that's the little bag that I made each of them. I'm thinking through options to take them for lunch and there's Sunset Station, no, Liberty Station, right by the airport that is really cute, but I wonder if there's any good food there. It's kind of this area and I've been once but never for food. There's another center I love in Del Mar called, there's the blue bottle there, Paseo. And there's some good food in there. Maybe I just do that. There's a Tokaya. I love Tokaya. There's a Cava. Maybe I just do that. Parakeet Cafe is really cute. I think I should just suggest that one instead. Okay. Upstairs, the guest bedroom is ready for the first guest. 
I'll show y'all. It's looking good. Like it's really actually coming together. There's still, of course, so many things I want to do up here, but okay, let me flip you around. Look how cozy it looks as you walk into here. Look at that. Like this little space is coming together. Would it look better with both my tables? <laughs> yes, but that's okay. Um, just want to eventually style things on the tables over here. I put my office mirror here to get a vision for having a mirror here, but I want to find one like twice as wide and then have this one in my office eventually. Gallery walls all coming together. Ooh, I'll turn on this so it's cozy. I need to screw that wall plate back on eventually. And then the guest room is coming together. Still debating if I want to hang something above the bed. And then what I want to do in this corner, I feel like a plant would be weird because it'd be green on a green wall. I have these lights I could hang potentially, and then eventually hang this on the wall and do some cool art on top of it. And I got some fresh towels for her and the trash guy is coming. So I'm gonna hold off till he leaves. Last little funny house update. The doors up here randomly slam. And also once I was sitting in here and the door just opened like so abruptly and then stopped and didn't fully open. And I was a little bit spooked by it because it didn't feel like a wind gust or anything, even though I'm pretty positive that's exactly what it was. But in order to not get spooked, I ordered these, uh, like door, what are they called? You know what these are. I know what these are. I searched this term to find these. Um, I found these on Amazon. They're like concrete with a little loop, which has been really nice. So no more slamming and opening doors up here. So I don't get freaked out when I'm home alone. <laughs> Next thing on my list before getting dressed and driving to the airport. Okay, let's be real. Let's be so real right now. I see my analytics. I see my statistics. I know most of y'all are not new around here. I know most of you have been watching my channel for a while. Therefore, when I get to work with a sponsor for a year or longer, you just hear the same thing a lot. I want to acknowledge that. And so I am gonna do something a little bit different today. I actually didn't even get permission to do this. I'm just doing it. Obviously y'all know by now about my favorite partner that I get to work with all the time, which is Seed. They're my daily probiotic. They're actually a symbiotic, probiotic, prebiotic. Normally I tell you some of the science or like some of my own experiences with it. But today I'm breaking those rules because you've heard my experiences, I'm sure a lot by now. And so I actually went to Instagram and I said, hey, if y'all have tried Seed, um, what is your experience? And I got a lot of submissions from y'all. Oh wow, actually so many more than I realized. So I'll share a few on here and I'll share a few on Instagram as well. Started taking it six months ago, noticed a big improvement in my gut health, no other symptoms. Started taking it six months or so and I've seen a huge difference. I love it. Absolute game changer postpartum. Life changing. I don't know how I would have gotten through several back surgeries without it. In my first month so far, noticed a difference in regularity and help with bloating really helps with my digestive issues. I feel a lot less bloated as well. Better skin, better breathing, better tummy. That honestly is because your digestive system is interconnected with everything. They always say like dermatological health, skin, cardiovascular health, obviously digestion, better tummy. I feel less bloated and have been way more regular. I was hoping it wouldn't work, but it did. <laughs> That's so real. I'm thankful I get to work with Seed on such a long-term basis because I do truly believe in its benefits and the science behind it and the fact that it does impact so many different facets of the human body. In case you are new here, I have a, a code and a link to get 15% off your first month. It's just Mikkel and I will have the link down below, but thank you to Seed for partnering with me twice a month for the last year and a half. It has really been huge for me, for my body, for, for everything, so I'm really grateful for it. You know, it's so funny. I genuinely wonder how living in a beach town is going to affect my wardrobe choices. Like I was like, this is cute for fall, but then something about being in like a tight black long sleeve doesn't feel appropriate for the vibe. It'll be funny to see how my choices start changing. I've already ordered several like pull on beachy, essentially sweatpants to wear to the beach since we've been going every day. And then I just wear them all day because I'm like, I'm going to the beach later anyways. And so basically I think I'm about to start dressing very casual all the time. Do I want to stay in this? I don't, I don't know. I got to decide soon. I got to go soon. Um, I'll just wear it to the airport and for lunch and then see how I feel later. <laughs> made it to lunch. We got the moms. I took them to my favorite, which is Tokaya because this is a gluten-free quesadilla. 
and it is so good. You add chicken. It actually is a, this is a vegan chipotle crema, which is really good too. And then mom and I are splitting a salad, which has a gluten-free battered fish, mahi-mahi. We're waiting on some shared plates, but thanks for splitting with me. Cause when you get just the quesadilla, you kind of leave feeling like, oh, I just ate a lot of cheese. So this is, feels a little more balanced. Look at those guys. Ready? One, two, three. Picked up my favorite blue bottle and then we found this really cute store. We walked past this jumpsuit and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this with the embroidery, but it's $200. So I was like, I would never get it. And my mom said, what about for your rehearsal dinner? I was kind of looking for a rehearsal dinner dress, but we are doing a casual backyard thing. So I'm not convinced, but I'm gonna try it on. I got it in a couple sizes. Cheaper than a dress. Okay, it's so comfy, but the thing I don't love is that it tapers in at the ankles a little too much and it's a little high water on a high water high waiter high water but the back is really cute but i don't think it's the move i don't think so you know what you look like what you look like the lights <laughs> we're too poor i didn't even process that until right now <laughs> so we we're trying to figure out what to do for sunset and yesterday i actually filmed this brand deal for Instagram where I like set up this whole charcuterie board, but I was alone, it was it was for the for the shot. And so now I have all this charcuterie stuff and it's actually so beautiful. And so we're like, what if we just go do that exact same setup all over again and have sunset on the beach because I have all of this stuff, you know? And we're gonna show the moms a nice ocean set sunset. To mom's weekend day two um, we spent the night last night having a girl's hot tub night and I got new pool floaties I think you saw Jordy blow them up in the last vlog and I used the floaty in the hot tub it's quite the experience because your body's like half in half out so you don't overheat which is so great um, we've just all been sitting here having coffee and now everyone's gone their own way to get ready for the day and I think I think we're gonna do a couple fun house errands. I think I mentioned this. I wanna go to the nursery. And then there is a CB2 outlet, or is it West Elm? There's one of the cute stores outlets, not too far. There's also a restoration hardware outlet, but I feel like restoration hardware as an outlet is still gonna be so expensive. Crate and barrel. So we might go there. I got an email this morning actually that the bar stools that I ordered forever ago are, um, now there's an issue with them and they're not gonna ship for a long time. So they gave me an option on my email to just cancel it. But I really liked the way that those looked. They're like a leather slung back, kind of like low profile. I didn't want anything that conflicted because a lot of things are like rattan or woven. I didn't want anything that conflicted with that. So I spent forever finding something that I liked. Oh, now they're out of stock. That makes sense. So I guess they just like accidentally oversold them. I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like a lot of times at the outlet stores, they'll have counter stools, which is different from a bar stool. Did y'all know that? That's what I wanna look for eventually, a desk chair, a big mirror for upstairs, any possible art. I think those are the main big things eventually to look for. That's kind of our morning. We might take a walk with Max, go to the park, and then in the evening, I might take them to Bird's Eye, which I know I've told the vlog about before. It's, it's a Thai-Vietnamese fusion restaurant here, and they can do almost everything gluten-free, and it's just kind of like the local spot. You can get an entree for like 17 bucks, and it feels like a nice experience, so it's kind of just like everybody's favorite spot because it's not overpriced for the area, and it's just really good, yummy food. So that's kind of what we're thinking. Um, those are all my updates. I can't move my face when I do eyeliner. Why am I trying to talk right now? This was a good idea. We've made it to the outlets. Y'all think we'll be successful? Yes. Yes. We'll successful. Also, we're also Always. color coordinated today. We need to get a cute little picture. <gasps> it's already cute. Oh my gosh, wait, this is better than I expected it to be. <gasps> These are fun. That's still really expensive. Oh, wait, extra off? 
<gasps> Extra 40% off outdoor. Mirrors, 30% off mirrors. This is so good. Home office. Okay, let's see what we find. Mom found this desk. How much is, is it, our desk's another 40% off? That's pretty cool. I love my retro one, but this, I could fit the couch properly in. That's pretty cool. I think your movers moved this piece into this outlet. Yeah, I think that they yeah. must have. <laughs> <laughs> Get roasted movers. <laughs> this outdoor ceramic table is so cool. Mom, look at this. But we were also on our way to check out this pretty nice oh my gosh this has been cut down price so many times what is it? it's now 3.99 and then how much was outdoor oh, I love this this two thousand dollar chair is now two hundred dollars it's pretty comfy is it comfy yeah I wonder if it even fit my car I think the counter stools are a no-go because there's not three of anything these would be nice this kind of material still pretty expensive though. The ones I ordered are a lot cheaper. We went to go measure the car and we measured this and I think it's like two inches too big for the car. But it's literally 90% off. But I think I have to leave it and say, it wasn't even what I was looking for. I actually was kind of looking for better outdoor furniture because the ones we got are pretty, they, yeah, they're kind of falling apart. But I just think, I just think it's not worth hiring someone to move it from here to Oceanside. So, we might say goodbye. We've made it to Home Goods, but um, Christmas has happened here. <laughs> Prices are definitely a lot better here. There's some pretty good wide mirrors here. This isn't the widest ever. I think I would like to find maybe even wider if possible, but the price is great and I like the little arch and there's a lot of gold in the upstairs room, so that would kind of go well. Well, I felt like today's been kind of a strikeout, but I did find a quilt for the guest room upstairs that's not white to add some other like light textural colors but you know the room is like a dark green so I don't want to add any like colors just like other different shades um, I can't find the price for the Queen but the King was 49 so I think the Queen might be cheaper than that 39 um, the quilts even at the outlet store after being like 60% off are still like hundreds of dollars when did everything get so expensive <laughs> I love this it was $19 and it's super squishy I can't put it in the guest room because it literally matches the rug identically but I think it would be um, really nice maybe in the primary bedroom or maybe on one of the couches it just feels so good I think it's oh it's feather that makes sense why it feels so plush so we got that and we got two little two little trash cans for each of the bathrooms and this one that's how that one looks so you know essentials pretty nice well that's not an essential <laughs> so we've made it to the nursery and um, it's massive here. It's absolutely huge, but it's like you can buy like <laughs> $30,000 trees that are 30 plus years old and they'll come plant them, like crane them to your home. They, the inside plant selection is very, very limited. We, we're finding a couple options that like could do, but this might be a little bit of a strikeout. No furniture, no plants. We found this one little philodendron that is interesting and um, they said could be potted inside if inside gets enough light. So maybe we get one of those and I just, so far I've got a trash can and a pillow and a quilt. <laughs> okay, big boy is in his new home. Fits really well into this pot that I brought all the way from Texas. So it's pretty nice that works out that way. Add some life in here. I actually kind of like it here. Might be where he ends up. I like it, what do you think Max? What do you think? You like the new plan? You tried to escape when we came in, huh? <laughs> Gonna place some of the new goodies around the house first. This bathroom really needed a trash can. So now that we have a guest staying here, there's a trash can there. Another trash can, another bathroom. There we go. I need to remove the dog food out of here. I hid it in here when I was filming an ad this week. <laughs> and now I'm curious to see this pillow. Here, that adds a little bit of fun something something. <laughs> More beige. <laughs> More beige. Okay, what I need to figure out is if I want to hang anything over this, and if so, what? And then definitely some sort of fun, funky art for this wall. Bring in some color. Still need to figure out a rug for in here as well. But at least that adds some texture, pattern, color. Interest. It adds some interest. It's progress. <laughs> Remember how I told y'all in a vlog a couple weeks ago that I was going to be my goal four days a week at least coming to the beach for sunset to put my toes in the sand. 
I think I've been exceeding the four days a week. Well, they lived here a couple weeks now, so we'll see if I keep it up, but we're about 30 minutes away from sunset, so we'll do a little sunset sit before dinner with the girls. Look at them, so cute. They're besties. That makes me really happy. And I know the sun won't go to bed yet. Not till the moon tucks away the tide. And I'll wait for you while she's sleeping. Blue sky, baby.